Hi, welcome to All About WordPress. Today we will be learning how to integrate Bootstore Vacation Plugin. So before we start, this video is sponsored by AppMaker.xyz. AppMaker is an app building platform which helps you to convert your WooCommerce store into beautiful native Android and iOS app. Do check it out. Bootstore Vacation Plugin helps you to temporarily suspend your store from purchasing the products, etc. Well, the website will be available to, available publicly, but nobody can check out or purchase any product. We all are going through a crisis now. Most of the store owners are facing difficulty in delivering goods. So by installing this plugin, you can temporarily disable the purchase and nobody can check out. And also you can deactivate the plugin or change the settings accordingly to make the store functional again. So as simple as that, you can do in just clicks and making some configuration. So let's see how to integrate Booster Vacation Plugin to your WooCommerce store. This is the Booster Vacation Plugin WordPress page. You can either download the plugin zip from here or you can directly do it from the WordPress plugin set. So plugins, add new. You can either upload by clicking upload plugin and uploading zip or you can just search it over here. Location. So it's here, let me install and then click on the activate button. And you can see my plugin is installed and activated over here. You can either go to settings by clicking on most or vacation settings side or from the WooCommerce or from the WooCommerce Woo store location. So I'm just gonna click on the settings. So this is the settings page of most or vacation plugin. So in order to enable the vacation mode, or we can say this temporarily shut down in the store, you can just enable it. And then also we have disable all the card checkout process and everything. And also one advantage is that if there is any product added to the cart before enabling this plugin, don't worry about that. They will get suspended once you activate the plugin. From the cart page also, they can't do, they can't do any checkout. So it's pretty much good. And also you can set a start date when this should start and an end date when your store reopens. So the minute is today and then end the date, present date. And you can set what color you want for the text so that then there will be a notice in the product detail page. So for that background color and the text color, so it will be the default ones. So I'm gonna set it as like my Spender. So say thanks for the checker. So you can also mention okay, it will be reopened in particular day. So whatever the text, you can just design it, whatever the text you want, you just write it down, and that will be shown in the product detail page. So I'm gonna just click on save changes button. So settings is saved. As you can see another notice over here, like if, if you need any more, like more and more features, they have a pro version too. You can look that also. So I'm gonna check it for my side. So I also have a product in my car. So it gets suspended actually. Let me see what happens. So you can see in my product detail page, I can see one of my product that named album. It's just removed from my car. 
and can no long, no longer be purchased. Good. And also you can see the notice that I have this add row over there. It's temporarily suspended and I can't see the add to cart button. I can't do anything. Check out nothing. So it's pretty much easy, huh? So no one can purchase your product and also if you just untick this button or you can deactivate the plugin whatever and your store will be back to action so that's it that's very easy to configure yeah that's all thank you guys